Welcome back Team Grandma and what is going on? It's your host Grandma and Storm coming at you today with a video that I did promise you guys the upgraded KT4 the wonder weapon on Zetsubu no Shima my friends a beast of a weapon definitely if you want to go for higher rounds and survive as long as possible on this map you definitely do need this weapon in my opinion man so first step for this uh, guide is you want to come down to the spider boss fight with the original KT4 shoot down that web Make your way down here, bro, and take out this bad boy. Literally, not too hard to do, man. If you've got a pack-a-punch weapon, you will find it pretty easy. Or just like a KN44 with double tap, as I'm using in this uh, video. I also had the VMP. But you want to take him down. Just watch out for his three attacks. He can slam down with his feet. He will also uh, throw some spiders at you, man, and some acid. So you just want to watch out for that. But really, not too hard of a step. But once you take him down, you'll want to pick up a fang from his mouth. So walk up to the mouth once it's dead. Literally, hold down square, pick up the fang, and you'll be good for the first step so step number two once you did the fang step this uh, will create a lightning near the skull location you want to whip out your shield man when that lightning strikes and as you can see right now my shield is electrified or electrocuted whatever you say man but walk up to laboratory b the top of it you'll find this second cage man which you can't do nothing with unless you do this step and you want to melee that green button it will open up walk in if you're on multiplayer you'll need two players for this because they'll need to like lower the cage and upper the cage for you if you're playing with friends but if you're solo it will do that automatically and down the bottom here in the underground there's a skeleton which is holding apart hold down square and boom that is step number two baby easy as that for the for the next step though we're going to be going over to the uh, sewer pipes my friends and we're going to be wanting what is called rainbow water and you're probably wondering whoa how the hell do i get this well it's not hard at all man just take this sewer pipe boom shoot down that bad boy and on the bright side there is this little blue thing i'll pause the image and you want to hold down square as soon as you pass it and you'll pick up your rainbow water man pretty easy stuff now you also want the skull of nan sepwe and you want to make your way down here man to the body bag location where you have to knife those zombies for that uh, pack a punch part use your skull against that little poster and that will activate the last step to be able to upgrade this uh, kt4 my friend so now you want to make your way down to where you originally pick up the flower part and yes, you will use your skull once again, the left bumper man to mesmerize, same with the poster, you want to hold that left bumper, and that will open up this wall down here, and you want to plant the seed and water the plant, so yeah, for this step guys, you do need the seed and the rainbow water, and you want to water the plant twice, and then you'll be able to pick up the full, fully grown plant, so the next round, I did that on round 24, planted the seed, watered it the first time, come back on round 25 man, water it again, and then I will come back after that, round 26 or 27, it really doesn't matter once the plant is grown, and I think it doesn't destroy correct me if I'm wrong though guys in the comments below But I went back two rounds after and it was still there So there you go Just uh, hold down square pick up the plant man It will turn to a root and that means you're you are good literally you are good for the KT4 No harder than that my friends It's pretty easy to upgrade this wonder weapon But it does take up to like round 20 plus because like this map you need a lot of points to be able to be able to open up all the doors and access all the parts of this map But that is it man Literally place it in the crafting table right next to the original KT4 crafting table. There is another one right there. And that will create you the KT4 Mass Immune, which is a beast of a wonder weapon, man. Super good for going for high rounds, as I've been saying. And also training and just literally staying alive, guys. So, yeah, if you, if you found this guide helpful in any way, do drop it a like, man. Really is appreciated. Trying to get that 1K subscriber. So, do subscribe to the channel if you're new. Do join Team Grimeine, my friends. And I'll catch you in another video pretty soon. Thanks for watching, guys. And peace, you bitch, and I'm gone.